Hello, today we are talking movies, but specifically military movies, and more specifically, military movies that have a photographer's theme, because we were... Army photographers. Army photographers, if you didn't already know that. So, but before we start, please remember to subscribe if you want to see more content from us, and... Play that intro. Play that intro. So first up today is a scene from probably the one of the most famous military films there is, Full Metal Jacket. I think pretty much everyone has seen this film going through training. I think it's on the list of films you must watch whilst in training. Yes. Uh, along with Platoon and a few others. Um, but there's a specific scene in there and it's the scene where the, the Joker finally meets up with his friends and it's the, the combat correspondent scene. But, so we'll just roll that now. From the island, and this is Rafter Man. Rafter Man. They're from Stars and Stripes. They'll make you famous. Yeah. Yeah. We're the Lust Hog Squad. We're life takers and heartbreakers. I'm a big fan of Adam Ball, anyway, from Firefly, so it seems a, a win win for me. <laughs> you a photographer? No, I'm a combat correspondent. Oh, you seen much combat? <laughs> Shouldn't that question be inserted with how many times you've been called Do You Work for Soldier magazine? Yeah. <laughs> You're a real comedian. Well, they call me the Joker. It's funny you should say that actually, because I can think back from when I was in Iraq the amount of times that I got asked, Oh, you work for Soldier magazine? And, uh, and you'd be like, No, I'm in the army, mate. Oh, are you? Like, well, yeah, look, I'm dressed exactly the same as you with combat gear on and. and Body armor, helmet, weapon. And, uh, do, do you not see it? It's, I've just got my camera as well. Oh, so you don't work for Soldier Magazine then? No. <laughs> yeah. But also the question is, oh, are you a are you a soldier then? Do you do what everyone else does? Yes, we do what everyone else does, but then we take pictures. But it, it does lead you down the road of, of what you get called. With you know, I mean, obviously we go by army photographer, but when you're out on on tour, whether you're with the uh, it would be a combat camera team mm. or army news team uh, and so on. I know there's always a lot of different I ones. was just the brigade fault. Well, there you go, you were just brigade fault. See, I played with some, played with some new ones like the, uh, the mobile media uh, multiple, but it's obviously abbreviated to mm. Mm. And Plus no one wanted to go down the uh, combat unit news team road. And actually in the terms of other, have you seen much combat, actually, there's a great clip from, um, from Rupert Freire who when he was out on 16 Brigades tour and um, He's got a, uh, a he awesome bit of head cam footage. Of That'll give us some contact. credibility. So let's no. run that now. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but we aren't going to show you it all because I think maybe we would like to see if we can get Rupert in to talk about it himself. Uh, but moving on from the combat correspondent, it, it brings me to another clip which was from a BBC series. So this scene is from a, a BBC drama about the Gulf War in 2003 and specifically about Colonel Tim Collins's uh, Eve of the Battle speech. If you lose your tag then you've lost your head, at which point the morphine becomes unimportant. <laughs> We are going into Iraq to liberate and not to conquer. We will not fly our flags in their country. Now, there are some who are alive at this moment who will not be alive shortly. Those of them who do not wish to go on that journey, we will not send them. As for the others, I expect you to rock their world. Wipe them out that's what they choose if you are ferocious in battle remember to be magnanimous in victory Iraq is steeped in history it is the site of the Garden of Eden 
Now, I remember seeing those pictures and I remember what made, one of the things that made this beach famous were the pictures. They appeared in every newspaper in the UK and around the world because they were taken by, wait for it, an army photographer. An army photographer. And so from those pictures and obviously the speech, you see the journalist there, but you don't see the photographer. And I always find that funny because it's what made it famous with the pictures, obviously combined with the speech, made it famous, which then obviously made it turned into a short film, which then negated to include the photographer. And we know he was there, we know who took him, and here he is with Colonel Collins at a uh, showing of the images. So it's just a shame that they didn't include that. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes they go, they, they went to such great detail. They got, do you know what I mean? All the uniforms are the correct, the vehicles, everything is all spot on. But they just miss, missed out the detail that made the whole thing famous. And lastly, just for funsies. I'll see Frank join the army then. What for? I don't know why Frank did it. Suppose someone's got to do it. If you want a job with a bit more adventure and excitement, to be frank, join the army. I still love that advert after all these years. How many times did you hear people say, what, like, especially when they're like on exercise stuff, I want to be in Frank's army. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't remember if it was Frank that convinced me to join the army because I know it's of my era. Um, and I can't remember the adverts because there's always one advert that people always remember when they join the military. But Frank was always my one and everyone would go, you didn't see Frank doing this, did you? Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> it. I think a lot of people like that. Oh, it's been how long in the army? I've not done half the things that Frank done. Which... Yeah. Wasn't there a few of them? Because I've seen, I've done a couple of those things in that advert. So I'm like, oh, at least I did that. But um, adventure training was always a kind of dodgy one for people. You either got lots of it or none of it. Well, towards the end of my career, I found I was photographing a lot of it and not doing a lot of it. <laughs> Skiing aside, I did a lot yeah. of skiing. But no, but no, everyone wanted to be in Frank's army. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of people that coaxed into joining the army because of Frank. Mm. Mm. Certainly was. Well, that's our first Veterans React to TV and film. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, drop us a comment. Hey, drop us, let us know about your favourite army advert. We're going to be uh, we're going to be looking at some of the uh, the military advertising that's been out over the years because there's been some. Uh, been some good ones and some horrendous ones. And some, yeah, <laughs> interesting ideas. And uh, if you've got, if you want to hear us talk about a specific advert, drop a drop a comment, and uh, we'll we'll take a look at it. Please remember to subscribe, uh, leave your comments, and see you in the next video.